They are now pulling away towards the starting point. Number six in the Oxford Bird just got a crab. And he's ordering three slices of brown bread and butter and a bottle of stout to go with it. <laughs> And now at the starting point, the captain's about to toss the coin for the position. It's tossed. It's in the air. It's coming down. It's in the water. In the water. <laughs> Another coin he's been searched for. Nobody's got one. What'll they do? Ah, they found a copper. He hasn't got one either. They've gone to the bank. Now they've gone to the other bank. Both banks closed at 11 today. Oh, the shame. The, the Oxford Oxf captain's tossed his hat into the air. The Cambridge captain's tossed his goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Oxford have won the toss as they've chosen the side nearest the water. <laughs> well, they'll be off any moment now. What does your watch say? Tick, tick. <laughs> what about your watch? On tick. I thought so. <laughs> yes, they're both. Any second. Any third. Any lorry. Any more for the Skylark. Bang, Bang they're off. off. I think it's going to be a marvellous race. Yes, so do I. The banks on either side of the river are lined with charcoal and dense with people. <laughs> and their cheering is simply deafening. Listen. Hooray. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> louder, please. Oh. Louder. Hooray! Yeah, Both crews are pulling strongly. I say they're about level. Anyhow, they're on top of the water. <laughs> Oxford, I think, got a little way behind. No, Cambridge are leading by a house to house canvas. Yeah, well, perhaps you're right. It's very hard to see from here. The crowd can't tell either. No, they're very dense. They don't, yes. <laughs> Coxes keep on shouting the strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Oxford. All good children go to heaven, Cambridge. <laughs> They are now passing a well-known store. We can't tell you which it is, as we're not allowed to advertise. But that's where you can get it. <laughs> Up to the aeroplane. Visibility is very bad. The aeroplane's rocking. Don't ask any more questions. Back to the launch. <laughs> we're now passing on the Hammersmith Bridge, near the second lamppost. This is a dogfight. The bridge is packed with tight people. I mean, tight with tight <laughs> people. <laughs> I mean, packed tight with people. That's right. Yeah. The cheering here is quite deafening. I think we'd better both cheer here, don't All you? Right. <laughs> Cambridge are now leading the fourth highest of their longest suit. Uh, 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 the Coxes are still shouting the strokes. Uh, here it is, Cambridge, 112, 112, 112. Oxford, X21, 21X, three draws and four away. <laughs> Not quite a record for the course. No. I say, Captain, the, the water's rather choppy here. It's chopped anymore, it'll be ruined. Yes, sir. <laughs> a lot more intelligent people standing on the bank here. Yes, the crowd isn't quite so dense now. Yeah. Who's that man there twirling a cane? Oh, that's the headmaster of Cambridge. Oh, really? By yes. the way, Michael Troy, what school did you go to? Oh, I'm an old harmonium. Old oh, harmonium? <laughs> Where did you go? I'm an old cow hand. Oh. <laughs> Both coxes are shouting four. They are passing the Chiswick Eight. Chiswick Eight are rowing very well. Very well indeed. Mortlake Brewery is now in sight. There will be two minutes interval. <laughs> the sun's come out. It's gone in again. It's out again. It's in again. It's out again. It's in again. I'll give you the sun stroke. It's all right, I've got it. <laughs> they're going under Barnes Bridge now. Better than going over it. And they're well on their way to Oxshot, Bagshot, Bullford, Hookham, Cookham, the farm. <laughs> and they've only got to go through a crisis. And Bolter's Lock. And they are there. The race is over. Hooray! Who won? Workman. 